All right, welcome back to part two of the little concept game art piece of the blacksmith's shop. In this episode, we're going to go over a few things. First, we're going to kind of show how to put some detail in the roof, how to intersect this section right here into the main body, and also how to make the barrel, the anvil, and these outside pieces. And then if we have time, we'll worry about this. So let's begin. Okay, so with your roof, I've made mine all solid. So what we're going to do is discuss how we make these little shapes right here. Now, if you've watched the boulder episode, it's the exact same method. So I'm just going to do it one more time just as a review. So I'm going to go inside my group, hit L, and you're just going to highlight this edge. You're going to draw a line and make sure it's on the face. And you're going to come down somewhere along there and click again. And you're going to click again. Hit E. Erase this line. Now this will open up the mesh. So you want to make sure to close it. But we can't go from here to here because then it will just close it the way it was originally created. So you got to go from this vertex to that vertex. It kind of gives it that little sunken in shape. Now to create a chip, you want to go this edge to there from here to here, from here to here, and all you gotta do is erase these three internal lines and then you've got that edge. So go ahead, mess with that. One other cool thing you can do on certain projects it works really well, if you double click the surface, hit S, you can scale in a direction and make it look kinda cool, but in this one I, I like keeping it uniform. So that is how kind of make the roof look more like wood than just slabs of clay okay notice how on here you can see this boundary edge right along here but on the other side you can't so how did I do that so that's a great question so what you want to do is double click into the actual group you're gonna triple click it all and you're gonna hit control X to cut it and back out and then you're going to highlight the main body group. You're going to right click. No, you're not. You're going to go inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to right click and you're going to go paste in place. And so when this is done, then what you're going to do is right click it, intersect faces with context. And now notice you have the boundary edge. So one thing that you can do is go into x ray mode. And let's go ahead and do that. And you'll see that there's a bunch of internal lines that if you had the paid version of the web version or the pro version, you'd have what we call over here in solid tools, the union. And what it would do, it would get rid of all these internal faces here um, for you automatically. But we kind of have to do it. So because right now it's not a solid and if you had solid inspector it would tell you there's internal faces and you could hit either fix now and it would fix them or it would tell you how to fix it so for example if I double click inside the group I'm gonna delete that line and that line and that line so now that is taken care of on that side I'm not gonna do it on the entire thing I mean, it could just take a few minutes for cleanup, but I'm not going to worry about it. You can worry about it, but it doesn't need to be, um, it'll still print because everything is still manifold. There's no holes in the mesh. That's the most important part. So make sure nothing got deleted. No faces got deleted. We're good. Everything looks good down here. See how nice and clean it is compared to right here? Yeah, so anyway. You can go ahead and do that and when you're done if you hit control a to select everything and you go to export STL um, run it through an online repair just in case and it'll tell you there's no errors because everything should be manifold um, and it'll repair should take get rid of stray lines and everything and then you can be able to print it and these are kind of fun if you're into uh, tabletop games. These are really fun to print. Okay, so speaking of tabletops, let's move to making the tabletop. Really easy. Rectangle, 
rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. That's it. The barrel is kind of fun. So let's just do those two and get those out of the way. So I'm going to start with the barrel. Let's make sure we've got an axis line. We do. So C. I'm going to do 15 sided barrel. That sounds fun. And I'm going to do a radius of 0 0.5 so that my barrel is, yeah, is exactly one meter in diameter. P for push pull. And I'm going to pull it up 0.15. Okay, and then I'm going to hit control. Notice the plus sign on the push pull tool. We're going to make it's going to copy this face and start the push pull from there. And we're going to go 0 0.15 again. Okay. Then whoops, push pull, control. And then we're going to go 0 0.45. And then 0 0.15. 0 0.15 so we have five sections so what it, why why is this so important just for the heck of it let's do this and we're gonna pull it up to about here so if I if I double click right here and I hit scale tool notice the whole thing is getting scaled so that's really not what we want but watch this if I scale this one Along here, control shift to do it uniformly. I'm going to do 0 0.90. Okay. And there. And then we're going to do the bottom one, scale. Control about center, shift for uniform, 0 0.90. And we start to get that nifty little barrel shape. Now, one thing you could do is you can put bands around the barrel. Um, that can get a little tricky, but it's it's doable. So uh, we'll worry about that here in a minute. Um, for right now, click this face F for offset, and let's do 0 0.1. P for the push pull. Make sure this face is selected, and we're going to go down 0 0.04. Okay. So right now we've got a nifty kind of looking barrel not too bad so that's the basic concept now you can scale it any way you want to make it look better or worse or however you want to do it so triple click let's make a group so now one thing that you can do is practice um, making the bands that go around um, let's see right here and right here so okay one way we can make a band is if you go inside your group we're going to select this we're going to do a control copy okay we're going to do a hide on this right click paste in place so give that a minute to catch up hit L for line tool and you're going to go from one point straight over. It's going to fill it in. Hit E for uh, eraser. We're going to erase that. P for the push pull tool and go up 0 0.05. Okay. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and on here unhide all. Okay. So, well, now that's interesting. Huh. Well, that kind of worked out for us. I wonder. Anyway, it was supposed to be a little bit. Okay, triple click it all. Hit S for scale tool. And you can scale it to the size you want. I'm going to go 1.02. Hit enter. And now we've got a band. That goes around it. Now, if you want, you can triple click it, hit Control X, double click inside the group, right click, paste in place, and then we can do an intersect face with context, and there you go. So now you've got everything on there, and if you wanted to, you can, uh, I don't think. It should leave anything. Let's go to X-ray. 
that should have just oh there's gonna be internal faces so yeah that'll be a little tricky but you might be able to select the inside face somehow don't know how if there is one let's go from the bottom okay and you're gonna hit delete that was a bad idea that was okay okay I hit the wrong that's why selection was wrong well that's why solid tools is really nice it's gonna be really hard to get rid of that internal face unless you hide geometry anyway so let's go ahead and go back into our normal standard woodworking style and go ahead and close that right click that I'm gonna hit oh wow look at that you can hide that I did not know that that's new to me okay I'm gonna delete that face I'm gonna delete that face it... apparently there's another face and another face oh yeah those are all the other faces of the barrel on the inside okay so those faces would prevent it from being solid I'm not gonna worry about deleting them all however that's how you can hide so unhide all so I'm not gonna worry about it but that's how you can get in there and at least clean it up a little bit so okay barrels made it's definitely not a solid so that's okay let's move forward so now you know how to make the bands around it now you know how to make the actual barrel so let's get this out of the way let's move you up here where you belong now let's build a table so um let's do table legs probably i don't know 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 I don't even know if that's on the that's on the same plane and then just move it up let's see we could go up I don't even know how tall that barrel is let's go up to right there okay perfect that's how tall I'm on my table it's gonna be a short table let's make that a group okay and then we're just going to copy move those over we're gonna move them exactly a meter apart and then from this way we're gonna do 0 0.5 and then we're going to move it one meter apart and there we go so there's our table legs like I said the table is really easy Go from here to here, push up, and we'll do 0 0.12, okay, and then why not, let's just hang this over the edge by 0 0.05, let's do the same on this one, is that how, okay, and then let's do the same on this one, so double click, And double click. Okay. Control Shift E just to get out quicker. So our little table is made. I mean, things are coming along. Things are starting to get. Th this stuff is really easy to make. But remember, this is a beginner's tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to do it because not everyone knows how. So let's make the box next and then the anvil. Okay. So, box. Pretty simple. It's just as simple as the table and the barrel. So let's make it. 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 okay we're gonna go up um, 0 0.1 okay and then what we're gonna do is offset it by 0 0.03 push pull and you're gonna bring this up 0 0.15 and then you're going to do an offset and you're going to bring it and hold your mouse over this 
so that infers to that edge. You're going to click it, then you're going to bring this up by 0 0.15. No tape measure because I already forgot how tall this was. Okay, push pull 0 0.1. Double click this one. Okay, take your eraser tool and erase those lines. Now sometimes you'll notice how it leaves right there, those little dots. I don't know why SketchUp does that. But you gotta go through and erase them because it bugs me. One dot right there and one dot right there. Okay. So box is done. Triple triple click it. Oh I destroyed the box. What happened? Alright, just keep going back till I've never had that happen. So E for eraser. Okay. Wow. So why did it do that? So I'm wondering if it has something to do with how we need to push pull. What one did we do first? Let's do that one. No, I think that's the one we did first. Let's do this one. And then that one. Hit E. Okay. Now. Okay, now everything is good. Wow. Never seen that happen. I've been saying that a lot. I'm not... Geometry is so weird when it comes to SketchUp sometimes. So, if something doesn't work one way, try erasing it the other way. Now you can see the little dots right there. So you're going to have to go through... See them? One, two, three, four. Go ahead and delete those. I'm not going to worry about it. So, let's move it. We can move it right there. And what you can do is make a copy of it. That's I didn't want to rotate. I said copy... Okay, put that one there, rotate it like that, and then the S tool, control shift for uniform. I mean, just control about the center right there. Spaceball, now you got a small box hovering in the air. So you got to move it down, move tool, up arrow, and then click on this edge, and it'll put it all on the same plane. Okay, so not too bad. Now, let's do the anvil. This one's actually kind of fun. You learn a new tool today, the auto move tool, which I think you've used once in one of my other tutorials. So let's go ahead and make it. So we're going to make this one. Let's just do that. Let's do that size, push, pull. Let's make it like that. And then F for offset. And... Let's do 0 0.1. I like that. We're going to click this edge. You're going to hit M for move. No, we're going to double click it. M for move. Hold the Alt tool. Click and then hit the up arrow. And that's going to force it like that. Um, do 0 0.15. Let go of Alt. Hit enter. There you go. Push pull. Bring that surface up right there. And. Okay, now it's just offsetting this, 0 0.15. Now let's remember the correct way. Push, pull that up, 0 0.15. Double click this, E for erase. Let's make sure that didn't, it did. So that one's killing it too. That one was fine. Nope. Did it erase that face? No. For some reason, it's only that one side of the face. So when in doubt, hold control. Okay. I guess softening that edge is not possible. I don't know why. Hmm. 
that's super odd to me. Let's go this way. Okay, so that worked. That's odd. So go ahead and push pull. And we're going to push pull to whatever size looks cool. Okay, take the line tool. This is where it gets fun. You're going to come out. Um, right about here. Right about there. So you have that triangular kind of look. That is totally off. Let's do this correct. Let's do a line down the middle. Left arrow key to go down the green axis and let's go out 0 0.3 okay now we're gonna make a line there and we're gonna make a line there so now it's even then you're gonna take from right here and you're gonna draw a line to the midpoint right there and then from there to there from vertex to vertex. So basically did the opposite of making the chipped corners. Okay, there you go. Now you've got that one-sided anvil right there. So we could, haven't done it, but we can do a 20-sided arch here. Go from here to here left arrow to force it in green uh, do one that looks 0 0.2 and then you could pull it down a little bit and then we've got that rounded edge we can go ahead and get rid of those if you want but if you like those lines go ahead and leave them in so now we have some sort of anvil looking piece triple click it make group okay all right so we're getting closer i mean check this out we got all that stuff hammer i'm not gonna make the hammer you can make the hammer it's not not too bad this part is actually really simple we need to use a new tool called the follow me so we will do that next in the next video so thank you for watching and happy modeling